Hi, I'm Bob Hoganson with Martin County Television. Welcome to our newest segment on MCTV we call Martin Works, the series where we take you behind the scenes of your local county government and introduce you to some of the people and programs that make Martin County such a great place to live. Martin County's Public Works Department does so much for our county. They plan, design, construct, operate and maintain infrastructure for transportation, drainage, stormwater quality, beaches, conservation lands, and public works facilities. 140 men and women work tirelessly every day in this department making Martin County so livable. But it wasn't always so comfortable here. 100 years ago, Florida was mostly uninhabitable because of one tiny but powerful reason. Now, the major efforts put forth by one division of the Public Works Department are making your outdoor plans pleasant and keeping you safe from danger. I recently visited Martin County's Mosquito Control Compound to find out what all the buzz is about. So we've got 3,000 different species of mosquitoes, 80 of which are found in Florida. The pesky critters are just about everywhere. Not only is that buzzing an annoyance, if you are bit, you could be exposed to serious disease. If the mosquito population isn't managed, it can pose dangerous risks for you and your family. We are responsible for conducting mosquito population monitoring. Kylie Zerbel is Martin County's mosquito control manager. Her team of 12 technicians yeah, right work away, around the clock lot, monitoring and keeping the mosquito forward, population in check. And, uh, One of them goes out and he collects traps daily. So he goes around our trap line. So we've got 23 different traps that are located in different areas in the county. And those give us an idea of the mosquito activity in the area. We have other technicians who go around and they check water. So their job is basically to inspect breeding habitat. After collecting samples, it's back to the lab. So this is our mosquito control lab. So we do a couple of different things in here. So one of those things is we identify mosquitoes. So we have a very nice microscope set up. If a larger than normal count is observed, prevention methods are then put in place for that particular area. And the counts are going up and up and up, then we know that we have a lot of mosquitoes and then we need to do something in order to control the mosquitoes. There are many methods used to control mosquitoes, the most common being a granular larvicide that is sprinkled into breeding areas, preventing larvae from maturing. Martin County also uses a cool new non-chemical approach. This is our 1,000 gallon gambusia rearing tank. So these little tiny fish can eat a ton of mosquito larvae, so they're very effective. Fog trucks are also commonly used, but are not on a set schedule. It all has to be done based upon surveillance data. While there are many types of mosquitoes, not all bite humans or carry disease, but one in particular is of serious concern. Aedes aegypti can be difficult to control because it's oftentimes found in people's backyards. The Aedes aegypti is a mosquito that can spread dengue fever, chikungunya, and Zika. It can breed in as little as one ounce of water, and it only takes seven days to go from larvae to flying pest. Kylie says that it's important that everybody stay vigilant and check their properties for potential breeding. Oftentimes we respond to complaints where people are getting numerous bites, around their house, and they end up having a lot of breeding on their yard. So they might have some discarded tires or a bucket lid or children's toys, and they're actually contributing to a large part of the problem that they're experiencing. This disease-carrying mosquito loves to breed in discarded tires. They are of such a concern that the county launched its first tire drive and recycle mania last year, and will do it again in April 2018. It's, you know, a free way for the public to get rid of your tires and eliminate that breeding site. She says a good rule to remember is to flush out or tip and toss any standing water around your property. If you go to our website, martin.fl.us, and type in mosquito control in the search bar, you can find a map of where the fog trucks will be that evening. You can also sign up to be notified when the trucks will be in your zone. There's also information about the next tire drive online. Well, that's it for this segment. We hope you learned a little bit about how Martin County works. Be sure to visit us on Facebook to see more stories like this and to stay connected with county happenings. We will be featuring more Martin County departments very soon, showing you how Martin works. For Martin County Television, I'm Bob Hoganson.